Welcome to PTIBetterGraceFast.com. Today we are looking at the report and selecting the facts of the report. Normally, if you take a look at television, you often see reporters with a little pad and a pen or a pencil and they're writing down things. What they're doing is writing down the facts or the so called facts of an incident. Of course, they normally can check it back to see if the facts were accurate, true, or not. Okay, and today we're going to practice some of that. In the workbook, we are going to look at a conversation between two young men. They go to Hummingbird High School and it's after school. Okay, if you have your workbook, you can follow with me. And you can have a pen or pencil like a reporter. And you can underline the facts as you see it. We'll be doing that in a minute. Okay? So let me read what's going on here. It's between two boys, Amar and John. Okay? Let's see what happens. Amar. Hey, John. How are you doing, man? John. I'm good, Amar. What's up? Amar. Well, I'm going to go to the St. Elizabeth Hospital to see Larry. John. Larry? You mean Larry Briscoe from Cocorico High School, who plays football with us on Saturday mornings at the sports club? Amar. Yes, that's the guy. He was involved in an accident yesterday at the intersection of Queen and Mary Streets. John. Oh man, is he okay? Amar. As far as I've heard, he has just suffered a fractured arm and some cuts and bruises. John. Okay. So tell me what happened. Amar. Well, it was after school yesterday and Larry was riding on his bicycle home. I was in front of the cafe at the corner of Queen and Mary Streets. The traffic lights had just turned yellow. Larry waved to me and was slowing down to stop when this brand new red Volvo PDD 403 slammed on the brakes. The driver must not have seen Larry slowing down, or thought he could have made it through the lights. I don't know. All I saw was a front bumper hit Larry's back wheel, and Larry went flying through the air. He landed hard on Mary Street. Good thing no cars were driving through. John. Oh man, that sounds painful. Amar, it must have been. John. You know yesterday, April 10th, was Jenny's birthday. At around 3 p.m., we were having pizza at Balotelli's when we heard a loud screech. Amar. Well, that would have been the accident because Balotelli's is just one block away. John. Wow. So who will play left back for our Hornets team next week? Amar. Well, not Larry for sure. John. Hmm. Larry is the best under-16 defender we have. There's no other 15-year-old at the club who can play the position as good as Larry can. Amar, that's true. John, I'll come with you to the hospital, Amar. I'd like to go and see how poor Larry is doing. Amar, no problem, man. Let's go. And we have to write a report of not more than 150 words based on this conversation. Now, let's select the facts. First thing I always like to, to, to do when I'm writing a report is check about the date, time, and place of the incident, in which case it's an accident. Do we have that here? Hmm? Tell me. Go back and check it. We have our date time and place of the incident and accident uh, I, i'm sure we do check it there underline it in your booklets what else what was the incident about what happened do we know what happened okay let's select the facts now remember facts versus opinion we don't want to Say what people said. Who was right or wrong? Was Larry right? Was the taxi driver or the, was a car driver right? 
We're not too sure about that, and we're not concerned about that. We are concerned about the facts. What happened? So, go through this with your pencil. Let's choose the facts. Let's select what were the things that we can test and prove to be true in this passage. And we'll check it when we come back. Thank you for choosing PTI BetterGraceFast.com.